Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So this week I'm coming to you as I do on a weekly basis with an oracle card reading. However, I'm focusing this week's oracle card reading on love. So before we start with that, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers and thank you to all the people that comment as well as to all the people that give me a thumbs up and to all the people that come to my channel regularly. I really appreciate your comments and your, your support. And I've been uploading uh, videos now on YouTube regularly for about a year. So I uploaded the first video around August uh, of 2018. And at that point, it was just a, um, a channeled message in the dark. Um, and I just felt really drawn to doing that. And I, I did it and I uploaded it. And then in September of 2018, I uploaded something like an energy forecast and I think one or two other readings. And uh, then in August, I mean, sorry, in October of 2018, I start in the middle of it, I think, I began uploading quite regularly. In fact, I uh, started uploading every day for, and I did that for about two months until uh, I just couldn't anymore. And uh, I just also felt like I shouldn't be doing that anymore. And so I stopped uh, and I tried to upload as much as I could at the beginning of January, but I just had a lot of resistance and it was quite hard to actually do that. It was quite hard to find the energy and keep up that stamina. And then I spent the last, say, six months of this year struggling with a few health issues. And so I've just been uploading uh, weekly Oracle card uh, readings. But basically, my intention is to do a few more uh, pick a card readings. I just, uh, I trust, I struggle to find the time and also the energy to be able to do it. And uh, I also have quite a few that I've um, shot, which I haven't edited and uploaded. I just, just don't find the time to do that. And I also uh, have some videos, which I promised you like ages ago, like a political series, some of which I've shot already which I haven't yet edited and uploaded. So I'm hoping that as the year goes by or um, before the end of the year, I could actually start uploading some of those videos again. And as soon as I can, I can actually do more pick a card readings as you all have requested. <laughs> I'm quite aware of the fact that um, you enjoy those much more. Um, but I do want to maintain the link with you and I do want to be able to provide you with support and a sort of um, a kind of guidance and some kind of healing and, and this is why I come to you on a weekly basis and I and I bring to you this these Oracle card readings. And I just wanted to thank you very much for being on the channel, for staying here, for actually uh, offering me your support and um, for being the inspiration for why I, I do this. So today we are doing a weekly Oracle card reading and we are focusing on love. So the questions we are asking is, uh, what do I need to know in terms of my love life? What is the advice that I need right now in terms of my love? Uh, what is it that I simply need to know right now? You can also use your own question. You can just have that question in your mind and then choose a deck of cards uh, pertaining to your question. Like just use your intuition. And just before, you know, I go on, I want you to say that all of this is due to your intuition. So I'm just providing these cards and these readings. And it's your intuition that's guiding you to this. Okay, so... Just, you know, have a bit more faith in your own intuition. And um, yes, and, and, and I hope that these readings are going to help you because it is it is your intuition that's, that's guiding you to them, okay? So um, we have the deck one here, deck two and deck three. These are all Alana Fairchild's uh, uh, oracle cards. Uh, so it's called Sacred Rebels. And this is your Rumi oracle. And this is that's the Crystal Mandala um, Oracle cards here. So take a moment. You may pause the video if you need to and um, make a selection. And you can go down to the description box where you'll find the timestamp. All right. So um, go ahead, make your selection and I'm going to begin the reading. So for those of you who have chosen uh, the first deck of cards, this is the Sacred Rebels uh, Oracle card deck by Alana Fairchild. The question we're asking today is what do we need to know in terms of love? What is my advice in terms of love or whatever question you have chosen? OK, 
Okay, so I think it's this card. Yeah, I'm feeling quite drawn to that. Ah, yeah. Okay. So the card is is uh, got is titled Spirals of Manifestation, and it's the number eighteen. All right. So um, I feel I know exactly what this card is about. Now, if you read Alana Fairchild's description, it would probably be something completely different. So I read these cards just for my own uh, feeling about what it is that you need to hear right now. And I basically use these cards just as a kind of visual uh, uh, stepping off point, you know, something to inspire you, to connect to you through these cards. Uh, but actually, the, the message is not always uh, pertaining to the card. Not directly anyway. So basically what I'm picking up from this one, you've come to some, a point, right, where you can actually end what you're doing, what you've been doing until now. You can actually, uh, if, if, it's not, if it's not been working for you, then you can put an end to it. You can decide, okay, I'm going to stop this pattern. I'm going to stop manifesting what, I'm been man what I've been manifesting and I'm going to create something new in my life. And this actually requires you to take responsibility for what it is that you have been manifesting. So you, the first step is actually recognizing, okay, this is happening because I have manifested it. This is happening because of something that I'm doing to create this energetic vibration which attracts these circumstances into my life. And if you can accept that, if, if you can get past that first hurdle, if it's a hurdle for you, or if you can get past that first step, then you'll realize that everything that's been playing out has been playing out as a result of your manifestation and it's been playing out as a result of your headspace, of how you've been feeling and what you've been thinking about. So how do we go on from here? Okay, the, the second thing, um, sorry, before I tell you how we go on from here. The second thing here is that it's important for you to look back at, at the last, say, 10 to 12 years of your life or longer and look at what you've been doing with your life. Okay, in terms of love, look at what you've actually been creating for yourself. Look at what's been um, what what's been happening, and see how it is that your headspace, your mindset, your emotional state has led to that being created, has led to a creation of that. And the way in which to resolve this, the way in which to uh, come over this, is in fact to to simply take responsibility for the fact that you have actually created your life and decide then and realize then that you have the power to recreate or to stop these the, the repetition to end the repetition to basically start anew to give yourself a new focus to move ahead to actually reconcile what you want and what you desire with what you are manifesting in in your life and this is it seems that there is a gap here for some of you they are however i'm getting this like two or three of you who are actually quite happy with the way things are and it's it's good that it you know you you're really like quite satisfied with how things are and i want to say that if you are satisfied then you've been doing it okay and you are uh you are manifesting what you desire in your life and it's okay then you don't need to this is just a confirmation of, of that you've been manifesting what you want in your life you can actually change it if you desire okay so I just adjusted the lighting there so you could see it better and I felt that it was too the glare was too strong um so basically here what I would like to, what I'm speaking about what I'm referring to uh in a, I'm trying to explain it in a more concise way is that until now you've been doing a certain certain thing like let's call it x you've been doing x okay and the result of it has been y okay and it's been repeating you've done it many times there's been an x you've done x and then there's been y done x and there's y and x here pertains to your headspace to what you're thinking about to what you feel to what you think you deserve to how you respond to your given situation to how you respond to love to your relationship to love, to your relationship to the one that you love, to the relation your relationship to yourself, all these things, okay, all coming together is your energetic vibration. And what it does is it attracts um, a set of circumstances into your life. Now you might think, okay, I don't want this. I have not manifested this into my life. I've just 
you know, I've just been doing the best I can and I have been loving this person. And what are you talking about? Um, ultimately, you know, sometimes we think that we're doing everything okay and we, we think we're doing the right thing and we are kind of hamstrung by emotion and we can just do what we're doing right now. We can't do any more than that. But actually what where we find ourselves is, is in a space that we don't want for ourselves. We find that we're dealing with circumstances uh, with regard to another person or with regard to ourselves, which are not ideal. And the question is, how did we get there? And so this card or this 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 message today is all about that. Like, how do we get to the point that we've gotten to? And how, what is it that I can change in my own manifestation? What is it that I can change in my own vibration in order to be able to bring something better into my life or to bring, bring something to my life, which is what I choose to bring into my life? Now, there are a couple of caveats here. The first one is that if you are dependent on another person's action, you are not going to be able to adjust your manif your, your essence or your not your essence, sorry, but your your vibration to be able to manifest what you desire. OK, so if you are thinking, OK, I'm only going to be happy if that person does this or this person does that, and you, it's not going to happen. OK, because you when you're manifesting, or when you are being who you are, you are attracting to you a certain degree of circumstances they are not it's more like an energy vibration it's not like a specific set of circumstances so let me give you an example so if you want to be loved and you want to be in a relationship and you are exuding uh like this energy of romance and wanting and and wanting to love okay as opposed to wanting to be loved then you will in fact uh attract to you the love that you desire but if you are feeling that okay i want to I want to love, I want to be loved, and you're waiting for that other person to love you in that way, or for somebody to come forth and give you that love, or for your love life to uh, take a, a turn, you know, around a corner to bring you into a new landscape. If you're waiting for that, then what you're going to do, what you're doing is you're exuding an essence, an essence, not an essence, but why do I keep coming to that word? You're exuding a sense, rather, of, um, of waiting, and you're going to continue waiting, okay? And what they're saying to me with this card is that these, this is the spirals of your manifestation. It's been ongoing. It's like it's like you've been exuding this waiting energy. And for some of you, it's not a waiting energy. For for some of you, like so, this reading, I feel like that you're going to have quite a few people coming to the this to this uh, deck and um, having chosen this message. And you all have different backgrounds. You're all dealing with very different things. And for some of you, it's waiting or waiting for somebody else to do something. For another one of you, it's being in a relationship which is causing frustration or not allowing you to be yourself completely. And it's not because that person is not allowing you to be yourself completely. It's because you don't give yourself the permission to be yourself completely. Is That's what I'm seeing here, right? So it's about how do you actually change yourself or change how you approach your, the, the world or how you are being, how you present yourself in the world, how you participate in the world, how you form a part of this world. Um, how you um, express yourself in the tapestry of this world to be able to uh, create what it is that you desire. So um, I feel like I've been speaking about this but not really saying anything um, because I feel like I could say this like probably in one sentence but I, I still haven't. Um, I'm going to try and, and, and just exp uh, say like uh, conclude it in, in one sentence okay. So until now, you've been manifesting um, a certain thing that's not been really compatible with what you actually desire. And this question, this card is saying to you, you've been, this has been repeated in your life. And, and now is the time where you can actually bring an end to that and uh, where you can change the, the repetition or what is being manifested, change it into something that you actually desire. OK, so um, that is the message for you, for those of you who've chosen this uh, deck. I'm also getting a very, uh, very clear um, energy here of endings. And it's not just because this 18 converts to a nine and nine would be like your numerological completion type of uh, energy. It's not only about that. I feel this has to do very much for those of you coming here at the time in which I've, I've shot this. Uh, we've had a full moon in Aries yesterday on the 13th of October and uh, I feel that this this 
energy uh, is kind of supported by that. It's almost like we're riding on the wave of that. And so this year is, it, it's got to do with that. It's got to do with that full moon where it's almost like you're not going to take any more of this. It's like, okay, you've been manifesting this or you've been creating this, but, and then it's like you suddenly realize, oh my goodness, I have the power to end this. I have the power to stop this. And this card is telling you, it's exactly that. I have the power to bring this to an end and I have the power to choose exactly what I desire in my life and I have the power to have people in my life who I truly desire and who truly love me. And it's it's for you to actually uh, do that consciously, to be able to say that consciously, to be able to accept that. Okay. So I feel that was your message and... Um, Yeah, it's just there's a lot going on here in terms of energies and I'm not sure if I don't really think it's it has to do so much with um with with the message that I need to give you as opposed to it's much going on on your side. It's much going on. There's like a lot of noise. It's a lot it's very busy and there's a lot of things going on and it needs to be it doesn't need to be anything, okay? It is the way it is, but um you you could work towards bringing it into a more solid or a pe more, more peaceful state or quieter state, more stillness. But I'm also, as I say that, I feel like this is not the time for that. And the time for that will come along a little bit later. You will gradually make your way to that state of stillness and silence. But right now it's very busy. It's very, um, there's much going on. All right. So um, that was your message for those of you who've chosen this deck here. I hope that it's been useful. I feel like I want to go on speaking about this, but I think I'm just going to be giving messages that are very specific to, to individuals. And I'd rather just give you a message that's, um, that's pertaining to all of you here. All right. So I'm done with that. Thank you very much for coming by. And moving on to the next uh, deck of cards. So for those of you who've chosen this deck of cards here, the question we're asking is, what do we need to know in terms of love right now? What is it that we need to know? Uh, what is the answer to our question at this moment? And yes, what is it that we need to hear in terms of our love lives for this moment? Okay, that feels right. Okay, I haven't used this deck for a while on this channel and um, I did use it quite a few times previously. Um, but I feel like I have drawn this card for you before, have I? You could comment on the, um, for me if, if you think I have. So the, it's the number 28 and it's the card is titled Enter the Garden of Delights. Okay, so... What I'm hearing here is that what is love? You know, what is love but to love, but to enjoy? What is this thing that you have that's stirring your heart? You know, it is this love that you want to give. It is this love that you want to celebrate. It is this love that you want to cherish. It is this love that you want to give so fully to, from your heart. It's like you're emptying out your heart, turning it upside down and emptying out the very last bit of your love for the person that you love and it's that which they are saying enter the garden of yeah, delight when you enter that space when you enter when you empty out your heart completely and you love with every cell of your being when you love with all that you have then you understand the texture of love you understand the nature of your love and when you understand that then you will realize that love has many different feelings there are many different emotions that come up with love it's not just rosy and lovely and romantic and sweet and idyllic and whimsical it is much more than that it is racy it is alive it is full of life in, in a way that can be explosive at times it is passionate there's so many different emotions and so many different colors and so many different um threads that form the the tapestry of love and they are saying here that in order for you uh well, well sorry what they're saying here is that just basically enter that space where you enjoy loving where you enjoy the actual act of loving 
whether it be love that, you know, that causes you a bit of disappointment at times or causes you a bit of jealousy or causes you utter sheer bliss or whatever it is that you are experiencing as a result of this love that you have. Yes, and one may argue that if it's true love, you wouldn't feel jealousy, etc. But what you, this message is, is that love has many different colors. Love has many different flavors. Love is constitutes so very much. And all you need to do is immerse yourself into it and simply feel what it has to offer at this moment. Bring yourself into a meditation or into a space or into a state of mindfulness where you're actually understanding and loving, where you're not you're not wanting something at this moment. This card is not about, you know, working towards something or wanting something or, or working towards goals or something like that. All of the goals fall away. All Everything falls away. There's just this moment and this essence of love that you experience and nothing else is important. And what is really necessary here is to be in that love, be in that love, embody that love as you move through your world, as you move um, in your relationships, as you move, you know, through through your life in terms of the relationship that you have with yourself as well and enjoy that. You know, it's as if you are staring in wonder at how magnificent all of love and life is. And that is your message for this week. It's basically talking about that. There's nothing more than that. It's like this explosion of love, an explosion of color, and just simply almost, yeah, immersing yourself in it, covering yourself completely in it. Uh, like, you know, there's two images that come to me. It's like lowering yourself into a lake or um, and letting the water come over your shoulders and just feeling completely immersed in it and, and you know, going under the water. And there's this other image of just confetti being sprinkled all over you and you dancing underneath this and you are in utter joy. So this time is about that. It's about feeling this joy, feeling that uh, which is love in all its colors. All right. I hope that's been a useful message for you this week. I hope it resonates and I wish you a lovely, beautiful time enjoying entering the Garden of Delights. So for those of you who've chosen this deck here, the question we're asking this week is what do we need to know in terms of love? What is my message in terms of love? For this week's oracle or what is the message i simply need to hear right now in terms of my love life ah this is it card we have here is called um, it's the number 45 and it's called goodwill uh, it's called goodwill and it's 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 the crystal goddesses 888 and it's it's the goddess Gaia and ocean Jasper so basically in terms of um, the energy of this card is invoking the goddess Gaia and the energy of uh, like a crystal such as ocean jasper. And the card is goodwill here. And I feel that this card is talking about being in flow. This card here is talking about being completely in flow and in, um, in accordance. It's about, it's a very si a simple card. It's a very, it brings about, it evokes a very, um, basic sense of simplicity for me even though it seems like there's a lot going on here the feeling for me is that it's a very simple feeling it's like just like a droplet of water in the ocean and the simplicity of it and it's about it also is a card that's um speaking to me about humility and 
it's it's about so this goodwill that they're talking about it's actually a message that's saying okay well how can i practice goodwill how can i practice goodwill in in terms of the, those that i love how can i practice goodwill in my life as i go along on a daily basis where is it that i need to practice goodwill um further and you might think okay well i am practicing goodwill you know i am actually this is who i am i'm a good person and i practice goodwill but this card is also saying to me to go back and look at who you really are look at what your motivations truly are observe yourself see where it is see how it is that you behave and what and what motivates that and don't be afraid to look at that. Look at yourself with very stark and honest eyes and look at your, yourself and ask yourself, what is it that I truly want in love? What is it that I truly want for myself? What is it that I truly want from this person that I love? What is it that I truly want in generally in terms of love or in just in general? And why is it that I want what I want? Because this card is, is saying to me that it's very simple to simply express goodwill and to be a part of being kind to another or just being good to another and to share that with all and sundry not just with the ones that you love but with everyone to be in this world in harmony to be in this world with peace you know are you rushing through life in a way that you are trampling over other people in any way are you very focused on getting what you want from your relationship or from one a particular person as opposed to offering uh goodwill in that circumstances in those circumstances so it's it's like saying to me well it's it's very simple you just need to be good you just need to be you just need to be kind and good and, and practice goodwill right but they're saying to me that it's difficult to do that because you have a very convoluted compacted kind of pregnant um space from which you're coming from in which there are a lot of different motivations all tangled together that lead you to think that yes you are a good person but ultimately you're not necessarily practicing goodwill as much as you could be or as or that goodwill that you're practicing is not necessarily coming from a space which is open and well and this is not to say that you're a bad person or that you know there's something wrong with you at all this is to say that there is you have those motivations as a result of the experiences that you've had in your life and you know due to whatever has formed you in the way that you have and this card is saying well just let go of that basically uh and focus on just being good focus on the goodwill of everything and if you need to if you struggle with that then go back and look at how what actually motivates you or how you actually came to be the way you are because in those motivations you're going to actually understand that there is a greater need for healing there's a greater need to be able to let go of a lot that you have on your in your backpack a lot of experiences that are holding you behind and it doesn't actually allow you to practice this goodwill in this easy harmonious effortless way that it can be practiced or that we should be able to to have in our lives it's these backpack of emotions that you've been carrying along that have actually been uh holding you back from being as free as you could be from being as kind as you could be from being as generous as you could be from being as loving as you could be so this card it's it seems like when i look at the image it doesn't tell me anything like of that but this is the message that i'm getting for you when i actually read this card it's 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 very much about embodying the energy of the ocean jasper um coming to you coming to a state of humility you know um being in touch with the earth with the earth god with gaia the earth goddess and feeling grounded feeling one with the earth feeling one with with yeah with the earth and when you feel one with the earth and you 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 become kind of softer and you become in tune and then you don't need to be running to something or scuttling around looking for something all that energy of anxiety or uh like kind of angst like energy just evaporates 
it's no longer there. And then you're able to practice goodwill in an effortless manner, in a manner that is, it comes naturally to you because it comes naturally to all of us. This is who we are. We are born good. We are born pure and good and well. And we go through various experiences in our lives which lead us to to have this backpack of emotions, you know, where we trudging along with, you know, some hurt and some pain from our childhood or from relationships or whatever. And it becomes a hindrance to us and how we can actually practice um, being humble and being ourselves, being in tune and practicing goodwill and simply loving. So um, I apologize for the uh, ambulance, uh, the sound of the sirens from the ambulance that are going on in the background. I think it's an ambulance. <laughs> um, so I just want to say that, yes, it's about just simplifying your life right now and bringing it back to basics. It's about being in touch with the earth and with the, the rhythms of nature and embodying this ease, um, the ease at which water laps onto the shore and withdraws and just to kind of uh, to get in touch with that kind of softness inside of you as a result of that. I'm just getting the softness. I'm getting this, um, it's not like compassion. Compassion is just, it's almost like too much. It's just humility. It's, um, it's softness. It's just being, being in this effortless way in which you just simply are without having anything else. You're not overthinking. You're not thinking too much about anything. You're just being. And um, I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say. I feel like I'm, sometimes I'm not very good at explaining things. So uh, I hope that I'm, I've managed to, to explain this the way in which I'm feeling it and how I see it. And and I hope I've, I've been able to get the message across to you in the way that uh, you need to hear it. I'm just going to pause for a second because I think that there may be something else in here which I may have not picked up as yet. Okay, so the other message I'm getting here is that it's to be in flow uh, in the way in which things that happen around you don't really uh, impact you so much. So it's like it's like being buoyant, you know, it's like being buoyant in the water and the water doesn't really like the waves or a tornado or whatever is coming your way, a hurricane, a tidal wave. It's not going to, yes, it's going to impact you. Yes, it's going to change your environment. Yes, it's going to impact you directly. But it's still, it's not, you're not losing yourself in the process. You still are yourself. And you are still that goodness that exists inside of you. That, can, that goodness from where this good world comes from. All right, so let, let whatever comes into your life, let it just pass by and let it, if you're having any difficulties, especially if you're having some kind of difficulty in your life, let it just pass through you, you know, just be, just be relaxed and um, be calm and let it flow through you. Let it, let it impact you. Don't be afraid to let it impact you. Let it impact you and call on your strength and your reserves to be able to face it. But don't let it move you. Don't let it change who you are. Don't let it uh, destroy you. Let it, let it just be there. It's almost like you need to observe it and let it go. Um, but it's, it feels here like uh, this is something that you would experience in a way that it almost like turns your life upside down. But at the same time, you're still okay. And this shouldn't disturb your goodness. This shouldn't, it would not disturb your goodness. It won't rob you of that which you are. All right. So, um, yeah, that's quite a specific message once again. It probably just applies to one of you. <laughs> but I felt I needed to say it. Um, yeah, I thank you for coming by today. I think that was your message for those of you chosen this deck here. I thank you for coming by and I thank you for um, participating in this and I hope that these messages have helped all of you 
and I'm wishing you a fabulous week ahead. And once again, thank you all very much for subscribing and for commenting, for sharing the video if you do that, and for all your support over the last year of me uploading YouTube videos. So wishing you a fabulous week ahead and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.